Silva is an amazing fighter, especially starting out in his career. And, um, you know, I've been doing the same thing. You know, I'm about getting belts. I want to be undisputed welterweight champion of the world. And it, it starts this Saturday versus Lamont Peterson. Welcome to another edition of IMO Sports with Pedro Justice. Errol Spence was on ESPN First Take yesterday. I was glad to see that. You could definitely tell that Max and Stephen A. Smith were very excited to have him on there. I think Stephen A. Smith is is getting his way with, uh, since he's now covering boxing for ESPN, he has more pull than Max Kellerman, actually, because Max Kellerman does HBO, so he doesn't really have anything to do with ESPN. Even though he used to be on Friday Night Fights <laughs> uh, with Brian Kenny and... Um, it's interesting to see Errol Spence getting this publicity because people like Oscar De La Hoya and Bob Arum think that he cannot make a career for himself not being signed to either one of them. And he's proven that just having Al Heyman as his financial advisor and being in connection with PBC, he's actually getting a bigger piece of the pie for himself. And now he is winning fights that people are able to see when he beat Kell Brook is made him more visible. Now coming on first take makes him more visible, makes him more of a household name. At least you'll say, who is that guy? Oh, he boxes. He's one of the welterweight champions. Oh, okay. Uh, he's going to fight Keith Thurman. <laughs> and that's the question on everybody's mind is when will Keith Thurman and Errol Spence get down based on the politics that I've said in other videos it may not be until the beginning of 2019 or in the middle of 2019 just because of politics. And that's what makes people sick about boxing is the politics. But back to Errol Spence. I was glad to see him on there. He even mentioned the things when Stephen A. Smith said, is, it, is Keith Thurman ducking? And he's trying to be polite and kind and generous. But for all intents and purposes, he's saying, yeah, he's ducking me. And then they tried to bring up T-Bud, Terrence Crawford. And he said, well, let him beat Jeff Horn first. And then when he beats Jeff Horn, now he's on my radar because I'm only going after champions so I can unify the division. And then I'll fight the other people. So I was definitely glad to see him on there. Um, shout out to all of the welterweight champions. Keith Thurman, I still like you. Jeff Horn, you're probably about to lose your belt. Not, no, no, no probably. You're about to lose your belt to Terrence Crawford, and then the welterweight division will get interesting. Let me know what you think. Until next time, it's Pedro Justice.